They say that if it comes from the ground, it's probably sound. These PSAs, not so much. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst anti-drug commercials. For this list, we're considering only commercials and advertisements, which means we're excluding anti-drug PSA movies and propaganda films like Reefer Madness. I thought you were a sport. Of course, if you're afraid. Number 10. Ignoring a friend's problem. So is the message here don't use drugs or a small monster will attach itself to your leg? Maybe or maybe not, but it's kind of hard to tell. One of the main rules of making a successful commercial is being able to get the intended message across to the audience. Somebody has to say something. Whether this ad, brought to you by the nonprofit Partnership for Drug-Free Kids, is seriously misguided or just really weird, it clearly doesn't do a good job of presenting its message to TV viewers. Number 9. Straight Up She don't need all the gold and the diamond rings, yeah, you make a lot of money and you make it fast, you get busted free. you going straight to a jail cell. Maybe this PSA by Partnership for a Drug-Free America was pretty cool back in the day, when Will Smith ruled the small screen as the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air during the 90s. But we kind of doubt it. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Anyway, in their Fresh Prince styled take on using music to discourage drug use, Yo, little brother, what's up with these, drugs? these performers, in trying to put the straight into straight up, just ended up with an ad that's straight up corny. We're here to tell you that drugs are for suckers. Straight up, police, straight up. Number eight. I learned it by watching you. It's yours? No, I was... mother said she found it in your closet. This was one of the more well-known anti-drug ads during the 1980s. While it reached a large audience and boasted a memorable catchphrase, Parents who use drugs have children who use drugs. This particular PSA may have been more effective at inspiring scores of hilarious parodies than in keeping kids off drugs. Look, Dad, it's Where not... did you get it? Dad, Answer me. Who taught you how to do this stuff? With overacting that brings to mind an after-school special, this commercial has made the transition from punchline to relic. And it's hopelessly stuck in the era of just say no and big hair. You, all right? I learned it by watching you. Parents who use drugs have children who use drugs. Number seven, it's like putting a gun in your mouth. It's more crack with me, bro. It's more crack. It's more crack. Crack with me, bro. More like a brief and painfully slow lecture than an ad that's meant to attract the viewer's attention. This is crack. This PSA features a tiny bit of information about crack and then concludes with the statement that smoking crack is like putting a gun in your mouth and pulling the trigger. Well, smoking crack. It's like putting a gun in your mouth and pulling the trigger. A more relevant ending might have involved asking if anyone was still watching. The spot gets its point across, but the absence of any visual or musical extras prevents it from selling its position, usually a requirement in effective advertising. Boring, right? I'm so boring. I want to kill myself. Number six. This is your brain on drugs. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. This ad featured a frying egg and was supposed to be a warning about what viewers could expect to happen to their brains from drug use. It's your brain. This is your brain on drugs. While it was not intended to remind viewers that they needed to buy eggs or inspire an unshakable urge to visit the nearest diner that serves breakfast all day, these were common results. This is what happens to your brain after snorting heroin. A more effective but less well-known and less appetizing sequel from the late 90s featured actress Rachel Lee Cook demolishing a kitchen with a frying pan in order to represent the brain on heroin. This is what your family goes through. And your friends and your and and your future. Number five, it's the money. 
You killed me. Where most of the world saw tragedy in the events of 9-11, the folks that create anti-drug ads saw something different. Opportunity. There was a bomb. I was going to school. What did that have to do with me? You brought drugs. That seems to be where this PSA came from, and why it stops just short of calling potheads terrorists. It's the money. Though it doesn't specifically reference any particular drug, considering the fairly high percentage of people who seem to buy their weed from high school dropouts who've turned a bedroom, closet, or spare bathroom into a makeshift greenhouse, the connection to terrorist organizations here is likely overestimated. What do I have to do with this? They were drug dealers fighting about money. You want money, money. Number four, this is crack. You don't want to get mixed up with a guy like me. I'm a loner, daddy. A rebel. Poor Pee Wee Herman. While his later arrest for enjoying himself a little too much during an X-rated movie made him infamous and derailed his career for the better part of two decades. I think the question everybody was asking at the time is, what were you thinking? His arrest for marijuana merely resulted in a bad anti-drug PSA. This is crack. Rock cocaine. It isn't glamorous or cool or kid stuff. From the weird lighting to Paul Rubin's deadpan delivery, a more effective message may be that crack is bad because it makes a person boring. Look, everybody wants to be cool, but doing it with crack isn't just wrong. It could be dead wrong. Now, if only Pee Wee had been required to make a PSA for that movie theater incident. Number three, Snake. Hey, little dude, send your mom and daddy out of the room. Ever been around a really bad person who suddenly morphed into a snake? <laughs> Didn't think so. But life must be different for the people who create anti-drug ads. This spot is based on the concept of a drug dealer turning into a dangerous, albeit well-dressed, viper. You know who I am. Snake. Dealing in weed, coke, crack, your choice. Take one hit and you'll do anything to cop more. This particular PSA was probably much more effective for would-be drug users who were afraid of snakes than for those who had pet boas, though. Now, some folks will tell you that I'm dealing in poison. But hey, do I look like the kind of guy that would do that to a kid like you? Yes! Number two, I'm not a chicken, you're a turkey. I got some stuff you just gotta try. What is it? Pop. It's understandable that an anti-drug PSA would want to show kids that they can stand up to anyone who tries to pressure them into using drugs. But this ad unjustly maligns innocent parties in the process. What are you, chicken? Bah, 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 bah. Dissing poultry in order to get an anti-drug message across to the grade school set is simply uncalled for. What should he do? Uh, Kate. Get a teacher. Excellent. Get a pizza. Get real. In fact, when we watch this commercial, we feel like asking the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles what our fine-feathered friends ever did to them. I'm not chicken. You're a turkey. He's right, drug dealers are dorks. Don't even talk to them. Cowabunga! Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. This is the way it's been since she started smoking pot. She's all lazy and boring. You know a bad idea when you see one. Live above weed. Live above the influence. Hello, my name's Penny. I think people shouldn't do drugs. They can make you forget things, like which animals have their stripes. Now, what's wrong with you? Tonsillitis? Appendicitis? Yeah! <laughs> Number one, drug abuse is the new slavery. Almost 400 years ago, African Americans were brought to this continent in chains. This cringeworthy anti-drug ad attempted to address the African American community specifically by comparing drug use to slavery. Don't dishonor them by becoming a slave to heroin, cocaine, and crack. The spot is complete with chained people on ships, tribal-sounding background music, and cruel whip-wielding overseers that bring to mind a Civil War documentary rather than a reminder to stay away from drugs. Make no mistake, drug abuse is the new slavery. When the glib phrasing, new slavery, that's normally used to refer to fashion is considered, it further contributes to the ad's insulting nature. That's just racist. Do you agree with our list? Get out of there! 
You got it. Let's see if Joey's that smart. What do you think is the worst anti-drug ad out there? Being high is stupid thing to do. For more fascinating top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Any questions?